Hey, hey, everyone. I am Tiara Chardé. I'm back with another message for you. First off, I want to say thank you. Shout out to you, everyone who's been commenting, liking, subscribing, sending donations, booking services. I truly appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh, vibing with me. Um, so I did receive um, some messages in regards to birth charts, astrology, soul's purpose, north node, south node, and what's the deal with all of that, okay? So I want to say, I want to share with you why um, birth charts, north node, south node is so important to me. Like, why am I even interested in it? how did this even happen? So I was on my reawakening journey and I was on YouTube and it was study your birth chart. Look at your birth chart. And I'm like, ooh, you know, me and my father always talked about the stars and UFOs and all of that growing up. So I was really fascinated by that. So I think it was like 2015, 2016 was when I actually looked at my birth chart and I was blown away by the information that was there and I am a true nerd y'all give me a piece of information and I'm like drooling okay I love to study I love to research I just love knowledge so I literally went through my birth chart I think I printed out like three separate birth charts from different sites um and I went through them all. Like I had my pens, I had my highlighter because <laughs> I wanted to advance, I wanted to grow, I wanted to crack the code to the situations in my life. I wanted to see the paperwork to what I was receiving intuitively. I'm like that too. If I get a download, I trust the download 100%, but I love receiving like the paperwork and um, the information to go with what the feeling is, what the download is. Um, and I also teach you how to do that, right? So we, we go through that in the programs. But I went through it with a fine tooth comb. I put little notations, marks in the margins. I referenced different things. I studied houses, um, degrees, which I was just like, what? You know all of this stuff and um and i cracked the code i changed my life i literally gave up everything i owned right i gave up my car my clothes my shoes my jewelry my makeup my bags everything and you know i'm a libra okay i like pretty things now <laughs> so the things i had were fresh okay brand new leather jackets and boots and I had stuff, okay? And I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of this. I, I want more for my life. I grew up in an inner city um, and I wanted to see the world. I wanted to see more. And I had been out of the country before this, um, before eventually going to Costa Rica, but I wanted more of life. I wanted more for me. I really wanted to prove to myself that the messages that were coming in were on point and what my guides were telling me was accurate. I needed to see it for myself. So I followed my birth chart. My birth chart literally said, okay, well, you're balanced in all elements except for fire. So I was like, okay, all right, I could bring in fire, okay? And I dated a Leo man at the time, but that's besides the point, all right? That's another message. We don't gotta get into that right now. But, um, <laughs> so I, I did that, pardon me, I did that and, um, spicy foods, I've always loved spicy foods, so I'm like, all right, I could bring the heat into my life. My birth chart said, well, you probably be best suited for the tropics. So I was like, huh, okay, right. So I, I started preparing myself to relocate. Like I was so serious, y'all. I really needed to change my life. I was grieving over the transition of my mother. I was over 300 pounds. I wasn't feeling fulfilled in my career. 
Like I had all the jobs, all the corporate jobs, all the insurance jobs, all the claims jobs, like all of the administrative, all of those jobs, okay? Um, healthcare, all of it. And I wasn't fulfilled. And um, so it told me that, okay, so you'll do best in warm weather because you need more heat. So I was like, all right, I moved to Costa Rica. It literally told me, um, you know, growing up, you'd have issues with your mom and later in life, you're going to want to heal those issues with the mother or the maternal figure in your life. So I addressed that. And many of you, you know about that because I put a lot of that information into the Embodying the Goddess Transformation Program as well as um, a, a different lens um, was placed in the Pussy Portal Program. Um, what else? It told me I was balanced in my masculine and my feminine energy. Literally, if feminine energy had three points, my masculine energy also had three points. So I was like, ooh, that's good. I'm really balanced in those energies. And many of y'all, you could probably tell that because I look like this, but sometimes I talk kind of passionate and aggressive. <laughs> it is because I'm really balanced in both those energies. Um, what else did it tell me? It told me that I would need to teach. It was part of my purpose to teach. It was part of my purpose to bring esoteric knowledge to the people. It literally told me that travel and meeting different cultures and immersing myself in different teachings and communities was going to accelerate and up-level my soul and literally expand my consciousness. And it will also be a part of my purpose and my teaching. So I was like, okay, great. <laughs> So I literally started like writing down everything that was coming to me, um, getting my old journals, audio recording, my dreams and the downloads that I was getting. I just kept like a library of stuff. Um, it told me that I would liberate souls, that I, I would do certain things. My birth chart told me everything I needed to know in order to be the woman, the priestess, the goddess that you see before you. And it's amazing. And there's financial astrology. There's astrology for children. I've also done birth charts and astrology for children. Yes, it's very important. A few years ago, I was saying this quite often that parents, you want to know your baby, you want to know your child, and you want to know how to set them up for the best things in life, pull up their birth chart, get their human design, See what those placements are and see how you can accommodate them. So um, that was a big part of my path. But yeah, so once I followed the birth chart and I left and I went to live in the tropics, y'all know my story. I lived in the uh, Costa Rica for two years. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good on Spanish. You know, I can speak a little Espanol, okay? Um, so I went there and once I went there, that's when my path just opened up. Literally, on like the second day, my path just expanded and accelerated. And I went on YouTube and I, I recorded those videos for y'all. So you could go back to the very first video I've ever made. That was me in Costa Rica, so shy, so just stepping out on faith. I left the States with less than $2,000, uh, $2, y'all, in like two bags, okay? And I lived beautifully in Costa Rica for two years. So that's nothing but the, the divine. It's it's nothing but supernatural intervention. Um, and then from the, that first video, that's how the business started. You all saw me and you're like, oh my God, she's so tribe. I need to talk to her. And I was like, okay, so this is what I'm doing now. And I launched my business because there was a need. There was a demand for it. So I knew, okay, this is in accordance with my call. And then it just accelerated from there. And we have retreats and workshops and books and e-guides and programs and classes and courses and all of that later. We have that now. We have meditations. We have music. Y'all know I love to sing. I love to create art. So, um... That's where all of this came from. That's where I came from. So when I tell you to pull up your birth chart and study it like you're going to be tested on it because you are going to be tested on it. This is your life. Your birth chart literally gives you the blueprint to life. It gives you the codes. You are able to crack your code and see yourself. 
So when I tell you to do that, this this is the reason because it changed my life, okay? Really. Um, and then, you know, tap into human design, like I said, tap into gene keys. It's really good to know your human design type and your authority. That's really important as well. But let's just stick to the, the birth chart in the North Node. So your North Node and South Node, you know, they say they're mathematical points in the sky, but they're more than that. They're literally, um, how can I say this? It's like they literally are like the, the sand clock letting you know where humanity is, where people are in their evolution, in their spiritual evolution, their, their consciousness. So North Node Taurus and South Node Scorpio is very important right now because it is awakening the guru, the, the real guru, the real gurus, right? Not, okay, the real gurus, the real ascended masters, the real healers, shaman, and priestesses are coming online to be new leadership, okay? To be in new leadership, not just to have like, you know, a couple people know you. Uh-uh. You're meant to be in leadership where thousands, millions, billions of people are going to have access to you, your teaching, your wisdom. It's a big deal. It's on a, it's on a large scale, Um. In whatever way that is for you, you're meant to influence people. And if it's not like a public display, it's still something that you're doing. You're planting a seed that future generations are going to benefit from. You're also at the forefront of this destruction of the current system. You're, you're literally on the front lines. And I want to say this. You know, I mentioned it in the video I did last night, the, um, the it was written message. So if you didn't see that, go, go back and watch that. I did two videos after that and I'm still uploading videos, y'all. It's taken a long time. That's how I know those videos are very powerful. But, um, I mentioned how, uh, I just lost my train of thought. So sorry. Uh, oh, I mentioned how, you know, the beings and entities, thank you in the shadow realm are very afraid of you. They're very scared. And sometimes, you know, we like to play small. We like to say little old me. No, you're not little. Only you think that. These other people out here, they know who you are and they're scared, okay? They're afraid of you because of the power you possess, the wisdom, your influence, your light, you don't have to manipulate anything. They manipulate, they trick and con. You don't have to do any of that. You just walk in your full authenticity and you're liberating souls, you're activating people, you're expanding people's consciousness. You sharing, literally you sitting next to somebody is activating them to be better, to be more, to expand, to elevate. So it's a big deal. And you have people in the shadows, you have beings and entities running the, the things. They're in the shadows now because they're afraid. They're not, they're not courageous at all. They're cowards. And they do not want you to awaken to your full divinity because if you do awaken to your full divinity, it's the end of them. Literally. Poof. Gone. Literally. Okay? So this is the time that we're moving in. And we've been in this time for quite a while. But... It's hitting the fan right now. Like, it's big. Don't let what's going on on the media get you twisted. There's a lot happening, and they're running scared, okay? And you need to know that you're safe to awaken the people. You're safe to come out from behind the curtain, I heard. Many of you have been playing behind the curtain. Maybe that's your role, right? Maybe that's... Um, maybe you're a director or something like that, or you just, you manage a lot of things for people. But for many, you're coming from behind the curtain with your wisdom, with your creativity. Maybe two years ago, it was not the time for you to step out. Now is that time. And it's because of, um, the North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio. So when you pull up your birth chart, Take a look at everything, really. Just go through it. Just go through it. 
Um, do like I did. Get it from three or four different sources. And birth charts are usually free. You just get a free one online. Um, take advantage of the information age while we have it. Okay? Do that. Um, but really, take a look at your north node and south node. Okay? Your south node is basically where you're coming from. Right? Your, your, your other lives. I don't even like to say past life, but your other lives. And the North Node is where you are and where you're going, where you're headed. It's literally your North Star, okay? Because astrology is definitely in the Bible, right? So your North Node is literally your North Star. It lets you know where you're going. And your Midheaven is is like your profession. It's like what, what can you do with the North Star, the information that your North Star is giving, right so you put all of that stuff together and when you put all of that together you get a pretty good picture of of who you are and what you're meant to do right and then you could factor in other things i absolutely recommend factoring a lot of different things including houses as well um to get a full picture of you so definitely your mars and your venus placements are important your mercury placement is important how you communicate and how you're best able to receive information that's very important um your pluto right pluto and scorpio pluto and sagittarius i feel like it's pluto and scorpio coming in now which is huge which is such a huge placement because pluto rules scorpio so y'all it's just it's it's a lot of juicy esoteric goodness going on right now it's just good shit um, so tap in. And if you are actually a North Node Taurus and a South Node Scorpio right now, oh, baby, send me an email, honey, because you lit. Literally, this time is designed for you. It's designed for everybody. This is definitely a collective um, up-leveling and elevation that's happening but North Node Taurus, South Node Scorpio placements, you're going to see a huge shift in your life, okay? Huge. We did have a comment. Someone was actually North Node Scorpio, South Node Taurus, so it was flipped. You too. <laughs> Tap in, brother. Tap in, okay? Um, and what else did I want to say about that? Um, so literally you have the cosmos assisting you they're they're pushing you you're not pushing against the tide anymore you're not you're going right with it and it's fast it's swift so many of you are going to see swift change in your life and it's going to be all consuming for some of you and for some of you there's no going back you're going to be thrusted into the spotlight because it's your destiny it's your destiny to be thrusted in that spotlight. There's nothing anybody could do about it. You, you gotta be up there. It's literally millions upon millions of people and energies and beings that need you to be in that spotlight. So you're going to see that come into play right now. So really just go with it. <laughs> Practice your smiles and your poses. Practice what you're gonna say when people talk to you because it's coming. It's happening, baby, okay? So I do, like I was saying in the last video, and thank you for the inquiries, right? I do birth charts, specifically soul's purpose, which is that north node, south node, as well as your midheaven. I factor in the houses. I just look at your whole chart and I pull it in to your soul's purpose report so you could actually see it. And it's clear and you're not going crazy figuring out houses and degrees and stuff like that. That's for those who um, would like that, that guidance on how to find this information, okay? Um, and like I said, you can pull it up online. It's absolutely free. But I do offer that for those of you who want to know how I did it in order to change my life. I offer that to you, okay? And I also offer... Um, birth chart protection magic it's a real magical ritual that i do over your birth chart to um lock in your prosperous destiny because like i said you've got a lot of energies you have a lot of entities that want to throw you off course 
because they're scared of you elevating to a, a place of power and leadership. They're like, no, we can't let him get more money or more resources or more connections with his soul tribe because if we do, he's going to shut everything down. And that's literally what's happening right now. And that's just it, okay? And many of you, you're meant to do this single-handedly but also as a team right so i place those guards and those protection over your birth chart and i teach you how to do it okay i'm not just gonna do it for you and off you go no i want you to have this information for yourself so you could do it for your loved ones you could do it for your children um so when you book the birth chart protection ritual um we actually get on a call and we go through it together okay so that's a big deal i'm literally giving you my magic <laughs> i'm literally giving you the secret sauce so um so know that those are the two birth chart services that i'm offering at the t at this time and that is linked in the description box in the esoteric shop once you're in the esoteric shop you could basically get everything that I am offering right now, you could see what's going on. Um, so yes, I feel like I said everything I needed to say, right? And the Pussy Portal program, we go into the mystical magical. That's, that's what it is. We tap in. Um, all of this stuff is our, they are our divination tools that we are supposed to use these, right? We're supposed to know astrology. It's supposed to know, right? Um, if we didn't have corruption and infiltration in our society, then, you know, we would have known this stuff, but gene keys and astrology and birth charts and North nodes and, um, how to perform a ritual of protection, how to do all of that. We would have grown up knowing this stuff. So basically I teach you that as well as, you know, how to tap into the pussy portal, which is your, your temple space. Base. It's it's how the womb was supposed to be taught to us, um, but we don't know nothing about it. So, you know, I also went in there to change my life. And again, that is outlined in the book, The Pussy Portal Healing with Pleasure. I tell you how I came to know this about the pussy portal and how I used it spiritually and magically to manifest the life that I'm living right now and I'm still manifesting with the pussy portal honey I just got out the pussy portal all right oh yeah it's a spiritual practice the priestesses knew, used to know this right but we've been so disconnected from our sensuality for a very real reason right because they scared they're scared of you goddess they're scared of you priestess they don't want you knowing this uh-uh well, I spill all the tea, honey. I let you know everything, baby, all right? And I give you a workbook and journal so you could do the work on your own and you could have those resources for yourself. You could pass it down. That's the thing. We're passing down this information to um, the next generations. We're not keeping this stuff secret no more. We have to pop the top on this stuff, all right? These secret societies have been holding on to information that is literally meant to liberate the people. So, you know, we're one of the ones who is cracking down on that and opening up the books for the people because y'all need it. All right. So thank you so much for vibing with me. Thank you again for your likes, your subscribes and um, for your donations. And all of my information is in the description box below. And I'll see you in the next message. Mwah. Love y'all. Peace and love. Have a great day.